Lucas Melhop Sofos rings use a calculated alloy volume for various size tube joints. The advantage of using these rings is a consistent and repeatable joint quality while controlling alloy usage. The first step is to clean the tubing and the fitting. The parts should be properly cut and reamed to remove burrs. Cleaning should be performed so that the surface contaminants are removed without unwarranted loss of base metals. Lightly roughen the tube ends and the fitting with a wire brush, steel wool, or fine grades of abrasive papers. Any residual particles in the joint surface should be avoided, and any residue remaining after mechanical cleaning must be removed. When brazing copper tubing with Lucas Milhop Silfos Brazing Filler Metal, no flux is required. The phosphorus in the Silfos Brazing Filler Metal gives them a self-fluxing ability when used on copper. However, it is required that a flux be used when brazing other copper alloys such as brass or bronze. The next step is to insert the ring, making sure that the ring seats against the bottom of the fitting. Then insert the tube, making certain that the tube makes contact with the ring at the bottom of the fitting, ensuring close contact between the ring and the copper tubing. Support the tube and fitting assembly to provide a consistent gap around the entire circumference of the joint. We are using an oxygen acetylene torch, however air acetylene with a proper torch tip or any fuel gas that can rapidly heat copper would also be suitable. A reducing flame is recommended. The flame should be soft enough and large enough to envelop both the tube and fitting. Begin heating with the flame perpendicular to the tube. The copper tube conducts the initial heat into the fitting for even distribution of heat in the joint area. The amount of heating depends upon the size of the joint. Experience will determine the amount of time needed. Next, move the flame onto the fitting. Then direct the flame from the fitting back onto the tube a distance equal to the depth of the fitting. The alloy flows from the inside to the exterior via capillary attraction. Heat towards the top for a second or two to pull the alloy through. The alloy will flow to the area with the highest heat. After brazing, inspect the joint for a small, uniform fillet at the brazed joint. The presence of a fillet indicates that the filler metal has completely flowed from one end of the joint to the other.